The Coin Lady here, returning to my channel. I just wanted to get a few quick information over to you all. Here today, you will find all the pertinent news about XRP as it happens. Put an X smash like button down if you're a fan of keeping up with the latest XRP news. Distribute the movie. Share the truth with the world about the digital revolution. First and foremost, I want to make a connection regarding Project Guardian, which we've discussed before. I want to emphasize the significance of this by showing you the participants with their pilot use cases. These use cases involve digital assets, tokenization, and custody of assets. Ripple partners include SBI, HSBC, UBS BIS Bank of International Settlements, remember, we're on the task force there, and Chandler Standard Charter. The first pilot of Project Guardian proved the concept, and XRP Drops made a great post about the possibility of cost reductions. I'm sure most of you are familiar with JP Morgan, it has been involved with SBI Digital, and DBS Bank is no exception. These are the major corporations and financial organizations that are investigating the possibility of tokenizing currency and government bonds. As we've discussed on many occasions, Standard Charter Bank is very close to Ripple, the two companies work together constantly, and Standard Charter Bank providing tokens connected to trade finance is one of the two new Guardian pilot projects that will expand the variety of tokenized assets. Once again, wealth management products are being tokenized by HSBC and UOB. We take that as a verbatim quote from the Singaporean Central Bank. We are certain that Project Guardian can lay the groundwork for Singapore's financial markets to undergo a new phase of development. They are collaborating closely with Ripple and all of its associates, including Mr. Stein Robber, whom I have previously featured on my show. An expansion of NIAM's operations in Brazil, including picture payment services and real-time payments, has recently been announced. NIAM is a Ripple Net governing member and a Ripple Payments partner. BS, a digital bank in Brazil, is using the NIAM's global FX solution to facilitate real-time payments with trading partners in countries like China and the UAE, while also lowering transaction costs. What did we discuss yesterday? The UAE and India are collaborating closely with the XRPL to facilitate the movement of oil payments, oil is now a huge business. Additionally, NIAM became a member of the group that speaks for Brazilian financial institutions that have been approved to deal in foreign currency by the country's central bank. This is how XRP, the native asset, works, guys, with BRICS, XRP, and XRPL. Going ahead, we're talking about 40 nations and 15 currencies that will be able to use XRP and, more crucially, the native token, XRP. I discussed how you are doing today in this post that I published yesterday. Publish the most talked about blockchain in the industry as of late. Here, XRP is the second blockchain, ranked second among the top Lake blockchains according to token growth rate. Additionally, Ripple X was released today. Attention XRP ledgers, developers, and entrepreneurs. The XRPL Grants and Accelerator team is back with their much anticipated office hours event. As we can see here as well, I only wanted to bring this to your attention that Friday, August 23rd. The President and Elon Musk have both been charged. Charged the UAW with attempting to intimidate employees following their appearance on X last night. My videos viewers have my gratitude. When you're done, hit that subscribe button and let me know what you think.